Technical research ships were used by the United States Navy during the 1960s to gather intelligence by monitoring, recording and analyzing wireless electronic communications of nations in various parts of the world. At the time these ships were active, the mission of the ships was covered and discussion of the true mission was prohibited. Classified information. The mission of the ships was publicly given as conducting research into atmospheric and communications phenomena. However, the true mission was more or less an open secret and the ships were commonly referred to as spy ships. Topic: <laughs> Function These ships carried a crew of U.S. Navy personnel whose specialty was intercepting wireless electronic communications and gathering intelligence from those communications signals intelligence, communications intelligence, and electronic signals intelligence in the 1960s those personnel had a U.S. Navy rating of communications technician later changed to cryptologic technician, or court. In order to transmit intelligence information that had been gathered back to United States for further processing and analysis, these ships had a special system named Technical Research Ship Special Communications, or TRSSCOM pronounced TRESCOM. This Earth Moon Earth EME communication system used a special gyroscope stabilized 16 foot 4.9 meters parabolic antenna which can be seen aft of the main superstructure in the accompanying photographs of Belmont and Liberty. Radio signals were transmitted toward the Moon, where they would bounce back toward the Earth and be received by a large 84-foot parabolic antenna at a naval communication station in Cheltenham, Maryland near Washington, D.C. or Wahiawa, Hawaii. Communications could occur only when the Moon was visible simultaneously at the ship's location and in Cheltenham or Wahiawa. The gyro stabilization of the antenna kept the antenna pointed at the Moon while the ship rolled and pitched on the surface of the ocean. These ships were classified as naval auxiliaries with a hull designation of AGTR, which stands for Auxiliary, General, Technical Research. Five of these ships were built with hull numbers of 1 to 5. The first three ships of this type Oxford, Georgetown, and Jamestown were converted from World War II-era Liberty ships. The last two ships Belmont and Liberty were converted from Victory ships. The former Liberty ship's top speed of 11 knots 20 km per hour, 13 miles per hour limited the first three AGTRs to missions of slow steaming on station with a minimum of transits. Victory ships sustained speed of 18 knots, 33 kilometers per hour, 21 miles per hour, enabled Belmont to shadow Mediterranean Sea operations of the Soviet helicopter carrier Moskva in 1969. All of the technical research ships were decommissioned and stricken by 1970. One of these ship's crew received a Presidential Unit Citation for Heroism in Combat. USS Liberty was attacked, severely damaged and 34 crew members killed by shelling, napalm bombing and torpedoing from Israeli jet fighter aircraft and motor torpedo boats on June 8, 1967. USS Jamestown was awarded a meritorious unit commendation along with USS Oxford. The citation reads in part, 
for meritorious service from the 1st of November 1965 to the 30th of June 1969 while participating in combat support operations in Southeast Asia. Through research and the compilation of extremely valuable technical data, USS Jamestown and USS Oxford contributed most significantly to the overall security of the United States and other free world forces operating in support of the Republic of Vietnam. Signed E.R. Zumwalt, Admiral, USN, Chief of Naval Operations. For specifications of these ships, see Liberty Ship and Victory Ship. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Ships of the AGTR type. Dates of commissioning decommissioning Oxford class Liberty ship type USS Oxford 1961 to 1969 USS Georgetown 1963 to 1969 USS Jamestown 1963 to 1969 Belmont class Victory ship type USS Belmont 1964 to 1970 USS Liberty 1964 to 1968 Topic Environmental Research Ship Three smaller ships, former Army Freight Supply FS ships converted by Navy to light cargo ship AKL vessels and then to Banner-class environmental research ships AJA had a similar mission. In contrast to the high freeboard of the AGTR Liberty and Victory hulls, the AJA decks were low and vulnerable to boarding from small craft. USS Pueblo, technically still in commission, has been held by North Korea since its attack and capture by on January 23, 1968. <laughs> <laughs> Ships of the Asia type USS Banner redesignated from AKL-25, TAKL-25, ex-Army FS-345 USS Pueblo redesignated from AKL-44, ex-Army FS-344 USS Palm Beach redesignated from AKL-45, ex-US Army FS-217 Auxiliary General USNS ships Three technical research ships were operated as USNS ships with a military sea transportation service civilian crew and a Navy detachment conducting the mission operations. Two ships were Maritime Commission C-1MAV-1 types. 1. USNS Lt. James E. Robinson, was a VC-2 SAP-2 Victory type that operated in this role December 1962 to April 1964 before being reclassified AK-274 and resuming cargo operations. USNS Private Jose F. Valdez Maritime Commission C-1MAV-1 type USNS Lieutenant James E. Robinson, Maritime Commission VC-2 SAP-2, Victory type. USNS Sergeant Joseph E. Muller, Maritime Commission C-1 MAV-1 type. Topic. See also. 
spy ship USS Parch SSN 683 and USS Jimmy Carter SSN 23 nuclear submarines modified or designed for intelligence gathering USS Sphinx modified for electronic surveillance in El Salvador and Nicaragua area 1985 to 1987 List of research vessels, United States Naval trawler